What do you do if you start college and realize it's not for you? If you're Ryder Park Hill, you decide to start a golf cart company. Golf Carting TV is your inside source for the coolest upgrades, mods, and accessories to take your trusty golf cart from drab to fab. Hey there and welcome back to Golf Carting TV. My name is Matt with Converted Carts. So glad you're here with us today. Today we've got a spotlight, dealer spotlight, with Ryder Park Hill of lifted and lowered golf carts out of uh, a couple locations in Missouri. We're going to get into and talk about his story. He's got a pretty amazing story as a young guy and has done some great stuff. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right in with Ryder. Hey, Ryder. Welcome again. You were one of our very first guests uh, on the show, but welcome back. Yeah, thanks, Matt. We're uh, super excited to be back on here and, uh, you know, tell us a little bit about our story and, uh, you know, who we are within the golf cart industry. Awesome. Well, why don't you why don't you start there? Like, uh, what's your story? I mean, you're you're a young dude. How in the world did you get involved in uh, owning a golf cart company? Yeah. So uh, I grew up here in the Ozarks, um, around Table Rock Lake, where we've got a bunch of golf cart communities all over. Um, started out buying and selling them out of my garage, kind of in high school as a part time deal, and uh, went off to college for about a semester and noticed that school wasn't my deal. And I uh, thought, hey, I'm uh, gonna start selling some golf carts. So uh, Started doing it out of my garage, and uh, right before COVID hit, kind of started taking off, really just buying and selling them online, Facebook Marketplace, you know, kind of like how all the garage guys do it. And uh, it slowly turned into a uh, bigger operation day by day. And uh, we've, you know, moved on from about three or four different uh, locations to where now we're in our uh, newest one here in Nixa, and we also have another dealership in Kansas City. So, um, it's been a, a kind of a crazy journey these past three and a half years, but uh, it's been awesome. It's fun. We've learned a lot, and uh, we love what we do here. So, so you said you started right before COVID. So, tell me a little bit about the how did that impact things positively, negatively? You know, what happened once you once you got into the to the full on thing after selling them out of your garage, and then COVID hit. Did you start the business? officially then like during COVID or right before COVID? Yeah, or it, how, was, what's the it was right before COVID. It was about a year before COVID, uh, late 2018. Price of carts were a lot lower than they were. The demand was nowhere near what it was during COVID or now after. Um, I was really just operating out of my garage in a little 2,000 square foot facility all by myself. Had one guy that helped me drive around and pick up the golf carts that we were buying and selling. Um, and then uh, we really uh, kicked it all off uh, right when COVID happened and had a lot of time on my hands, didn't know what to do. So we uh, started slinging golf carts. And uh, slowly after that, we moved into our uh, next facility, which uh, was a brick and mortar style business. Uh, we we're open five days a week. Uh, started there with one employee. A couple months in, we moved up to around four or five. And uh, now, you know, Two and a half, three years later, we've got uh, two or three dealerships uh, that we've. I've got another one I've got interest in, and uh, you know we've got nine to twelve employees. So it's uh, it's a lot's changed. Um, I think COVID has helped myself um, in this industry as well as a lot of other dealers. Um, you know, with the flux of business that we've seen. But yeah, it's a uh, it's a booming business, uh, in, or more or less booming industry, and uh, you know we're fortunate enough to be be riding the mix of it all. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. So, you know, just in general, what, like, what was, you said you started it out of your, your garage and things like that, but what is it that you love about golf carts and being in this industry? What's, what is it that got you into it and what do you, what gets you excited and wake up in the morning? Yeah, absolutely. So that's a great question. I get asked that quite a bit. Um, I'm a car guy, truck guy. Um, everything I've ever owned has been customized or uh, I've always put my little touches on it, whether it's a set of wheels and tires or, uh, you know, cosmetic things. So um, at heart, I've always done stuff like that. And uh, when it came to golf carts, they were just easy to customize a lot of different options. And you can really just put any type of spin on 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 it that you'd like. So um, we started doing that uh, early on 
uh, you know, whether it was a set of wheels and tires or custom paint. And uh, that's probably my favorite part of it is being able to take something that, you know, just came off of a golf course or has been sitting in somebody's garage just as a transportation vehicle. And we actually be able to bring it in, um, strip it all the way down and build it up to where it looks like a brand new machine or, uh, you know, sell them a new machine that uh, is something that they could never think they could get in a golf cart. So that's one of my favorite things, as well as just dealing with all the uh, different type of people that walk in the door every day. You know, whether we're selling a cart to a farmer or uh, a family who's got six kids that uh, wants to cruise around the neighborhood, uh, you never know who's going to walk in the door. And it's always fun to, you know, see everybody's story and what they're in here for. Yeah, and you guys do a great job on on social media and and just showing the variety of different carts and things like that that you do, and it's cool to see what you have out there. Just all Absolutely. this, like you said, customization of things. So, what is it then, as far as brands go? And I I don't know if it's true or not. I see a lot of Yamaha. I think you know, do mm -hmm. some different stuff. I know you do Icon, but tell me a little yeah. bit about what's the brands you carry. Uh, what would you say, or or maybe some of the the good and bad or the best uh, yeah. from a from brand perspective? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, when we started out, we were just selling used. Um, the first brand that we started selling new was Icon, kind of when they uh, got their, their start pre-COVID or right at COVID. So we're currently an Icon dealer. Um, we think they make a great cart. Um, been selling them for a while now. Um, that's number one brand that we sell. Uh, two other brands that we sell new are going to be the Mad Jax X series. I've got a couple of those here behind me. Um, they're super nice carts made by Nivell, you know, fully outfitted with just about everything that you'd want in a cart. Um, we brought the X series on here earlier this year um, when they uh, announced that they're going to be creating those carts. Um, and then we also sell the Evolution. So uh, Evolution, Icon, and then the Mad Jacks X series. So those are the three carts we sell new here at this store. Um, and then we do a ton of uh, Yamaha custom builds. That's kind of what we're known for. Um, we buy lots and lots of Yamahas and customize them to uh, whatever the customer wants. So currently right now we've uh, got over 100 Yamahas on order. My guys are working on them uh, all day long, every day, and uh, building those carts for the customer. So I've got one over here I can show you. We just finished up. Um, this one's pretty neat here. This is just a little example of what we do. This one's a red body, red wheels and tires, diamond stitch seats, uh, just a golf package uh, for a guy that's just going to hit the course. So uh, and those are really fun to customize any way you want. Yeah, that's cool. So when, when somebody's buying a cart, whether it's used or new, or even in the conversation of whether they want to get a new or used uh, car, what are some of the things, or maybe the most important thing that you would say kind of in the conversation, what should they be asking? What kind of questions, what should they be looking for? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, where we're located here in the Ozarks, where we've got a bunch of lakes and uh, people that have secondary homes, the number one question that I always ask is, you know, where are you storing this golf cart? Um, is it going to be in a garage? Is it going to be outside under a carport? Where am I might it be um so you know if i get a guy that walks in here that uh says that he keeps his cart outside 99 percent of the time and uses it only four weekends out of the year um, i know i'm probably not going to recommend him buying an electric cart uh something that he can store outside where he doesn't have to have power to it so um that's one thing we always uh figure out what the customer needs that way we're uh getting them the best vehicle for uh their situation Another thing is, is, uh, you know, how much you're using it. Uh, is this going to be a vehicle that you're driving around town um, with the family and uh, putting 20, 30 miles on it a day, or are you just using it here and there? So there's a lot of variables that come into play when buying carts, but with the uh, new technology that these lithium carts have, as well as the range that the gas provides, um, you really can't go wrong. And we provide all, all of those carts uh, so you can walk in here and get the best one for your needs that's cool you mentioned the uh x series so tell yeah. me a little bit about the the x series and and what you think makes that one special or different uh maybe than some of the other options that are out there brand wise yeah um 
probably the number one thing about the X series that separates it from a lot of these companies is just the company behind it. Uh, you know, Nivell, they've uh, been a huge uh, company in the industry for over 50 years now. And uh, with them offering a cart, um, you know, there's great support, whether you're a consumer or a dealer needing uh, service advice or uh, parts, accessories, anything. So um, they're awesome carts. Ride, ride quality on them is unbeatable. Um, and then with this new generation two cart that they have coming out with the big screen and uh, the eco battery and a lot of features like that, um, they're definitely a cart to look for. So we enjoy them. Uh, we've had some great feedback from our customers. Um, so yeah, I, I think the X series is, is definitely a cart I, I would consider buying myself. That's cool. So um, we like to ask the question just kind of to get it at the heart of, of who yeah. you are and who you guys are as a business. But what what about like, what is it that makes the, is the most impressive or most proud thing that you hear when people come back to you and say X? Yeah, you know, what it is it that they that you feel like you guys pride yourselves on? Yeah, I mean, uh, just, you know, people enjoying their cart, man, um, you know, uh, driving it around, people giving them thumbs up saying, Hey, that thing looks awesome. Where can I get one? Or, uh, you know, people just having a good experience, whether it's, uh, you know, somebody buying a set of lug nuts for us or buying a $25,000 golf cart. Um, you know, we, we enjoy the experience with the customer, um, all across the board. And so, yeah, those, those are the things we enjoy, um, when dealing with customers. That's cool. So what's the, what's the future hold for uh, lifted and lowered? I know you, you, alluded to a little bit uh, earlier that maybe you, so right now you've got two locations um, in Nixa and Kansas City, and yep. it sounds like maybe you're looking at maybe a third and maybe there's more. What what What's happening in the next year, five years? Man, years that's a good question. Uh, I don't know how much faster we can grow at this rate. Um, you know, I we've got two stores under the lifted and lowered name. I personally own another store under a different name. Um, in another town here in Missouri, but, uh, the future for lifted and lowered, man, we're going to keep running strong. Um, uh, building the brand, look to open another store here in the next year or two, um, maybe a little bit further down South, uh, to get into a state that we haven't been into before. So, um, you know, we're just looking to build the brand, keep the, uh, keep the reputation that we have, um, as well as build our online presence. Uh, you know, we've got an online parts and accessories store, uh, that we started late last year. And, uh, you know, that's taken off. It's not anything huge, but, uh, definitely gives our customers who bought something from us uh, a place to go and shop for little neat parts and accessories that they might need for their cart. So. Yeah, that's cool. And yeah. And I think the, the specific thing that you guys have in particular, I know is, is aftermarket parts for some yep. of those brands that may not have a whole lot of extra aftermarket parts right exactly. so icon yep. and advanced tv and things like that so that's yep. good to have mm -hmm. that's awesome yeah, yeah absolutely well, cool Ryder. thank you so much uh for for joining us today really appreciate you again having you back for the second time but also just to be able to to feature your your dealership there i think as again i've told you before as a young guy you've got a great head on your shoulders and doing some really cool stuff it's great to see uh see that happening from an entrepreneurial standpoint and yeah having a successful business so it's cool to see yeah well i appreciate it matt and uh you know i appreciate you letting us be on here again and uh yeah thanks for hosting us <laughs>